Cheers. A nice morning coffee. And The Walking Dead. I'm going to start episode two. Let's get on with it. Starved for help. Looks like I'm fighting Kenny in this one. Interesting. Yeah, hope you all enjoyed season one, uh, episode one. I really did. Like, I got drawn into it a lot more than I thought I would, having already seen it and knowing exactly what happens. It's funny, it does draw you in. You really do feel an affinity for the characters. There we go. This is what happened last time, in case you missed it. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. Oh shit! been all by yourself through this? Yeah. Oh, I want Clementine. my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bit. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. This is all the choices I made. Oh my God. Wilhelm scream. I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Bastard. I forgot how much I hated Larry. The story is tailored by how you play. Oh dear. So we're at the motel now, aren't we? Yeah, I'd, I'd need to give a quick shout out to a person who watches, a hopefully a fan, uh, called Mary Stark. Um, she actually works... Oh my god, careful. Kill it. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Yeah, she actually works at Telltale Games, and she sent me a message. Hello. Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. So they're eating uh, our food. Well, that's another meal lost. Yeah. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me. I have no regrets. Yeah, we saved you. Rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No yeah, kidding. Are. Um, but Mary Stark, she works at Telltale Games. Rabbit, I saw her in the credits. So, so I thought she was hi, gonna take off I'm my playing head. it. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Hope you guys at Telltale Games are enjoying yeah, it. You're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Uh, we'll manage. We always do. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Willie's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults straight and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? Uh, sure Probably so. not. Probably not. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. Well, he's you know, a fisherman. He's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Mm. He's got a family to look out for. wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> he's an old racist. No. He thinks I'm dangerous. He thinks I'm a danger to the group. And Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. Agreed. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's, he's a walking pile driver. He's pretty I hench. I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. <laughs> that he did. Still want to get him back for that. Brody, it's a crow. Don't shoot it, man. It's not worth it. 
It's not. Yeah, don't risk don't. the noise. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Uh. Oh shit. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. So anyway, thanks Mary Stark for introducing yourself to me. It's lovely to hear from you. I'll be doing Jurassic Park next, and of course the Walking Dead DLC and Season 2, so watch out, all these telltale games. Grrrr, 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 oh my god. Jesus Those things Christ. always scare me, because oh, shit. No, no. it's so, we just want to oh, help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. so hey, painful. You guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, god damn it, get, get it off me! Travis, maybe they can help! These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap? Who out raided here? your camp? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you. I swear. It's all right, don't worry. Lee, this is fucked up. I've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Yeah, we'll, we'll help. We'll try. I gotta get him out of there. Oh God! Thank you. No, yeah, you're welcome. Fine, but you gotta hurry. No problem. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh come on. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Shit. Oh no. Right, we're off. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Oh, Kenny, keep God. those walkers off of me. Instant horrible choices and decisions. Um, this can't be that bad. Please, okay, that's not working. That's not working. That's not working. Please, please. Um, get me out of this. Uh, break the chain. Break the chain. Oh Jesus, those things are gonna be break here soon. Chain. I'm gonna try. Hurry. Come on. I know. I know. I know. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Come on. Break it. Break it. Break it. No. Come on. Come on. All right. Okay. 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 We are going to cut this. Cut this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Break it off. Oh god, that must hurt so much. Right. Sorry, man. It's the last thing I can do. It's the last thing I can do. I have to. I have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I have to. I'm sorry. Oh my god, that must hurt so much. I'm so sorry, man. Oh, yuck. One last one, one last one. One last one, come on. One more, one more, come on, Lee, come on. I know it's disgusting, but we've got to do this, we've got to do this. There we go, right, let's get rid of him, let's carry him, carry him, carry him. Come on. No, he's not dead. We've got to get him back. Come on. Oh, that's so disgusting. Come on, these walkers are coming. That's all I could do. I tried everything else. In fairness. Behind you. Shit. Come on, come on. We gotta move. Just run away, man. You prat. Oh. No! That's horrible. Oh. See, the thought of being eaten by zombies must just be so horrid. I love this music, by the way. It's really good. Oh, Clem. Well, at least Ducky looks happy. Hey, Ducky. Fuck off, Larry.
It's us, probably. Don't worry. That's cool, it shows how... Shows how tense it all is. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? We're bringing wounded back. Come on, come on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Me? Are you okay? Get him into Fine. the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So sure. what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. True. Right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. Yeah. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? No. Um, no? Fine. You guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Welcome to Over the here. family. See what I drew. What? what? No, I... Just uh, come on, okay? You know, Clementine, she's so you're the leader smart. of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't you ask to leave this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn nah. Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Well, Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? It's not helping, is it, Larry? Piss off. God, you're so miserable. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. I don't hate Nobody you. else wants to. Well, I'll help if you want. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. Fine. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Fine. I will hand out to her lol food lols. What have I got? Half an apple, a bit of bacon, and two cheese things. Well, I'm sure they can share. We need to find a farm and plant some vegetables and all that kind of thing. That's what we need to do. We need to go back and live off the land. If there was a zombie apocalypse, that's what I would do. Find a farm and go and do it. Right, let's go and see if we can help out here. Is he going to be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. Gross. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing. But Lee, this man has no leg. True. No, I don't know what to say. Silence. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Hmm. Sorry. Right. Let's go and check on the others, shall we? Clementine, how are you doing, my little friend? How you doing, Clementine? Oh. Okay. Where's your cap? Where's your hat? <laughs> I don't know. Can you help me find it? Yeah, definitely. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. As long as you're okay. Right. Oh, 
You're a bit of an ass, but I'm going to talk to you anyway. Hey, is my friend going to make it? Yeah. I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. Kaja's a vet, by the way. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Just thought I'd let you know, Kaja's a vet. Um, so who are you? So who are you people? Our group's going to want to know. Yeah. I'm Ben. Going to want to. Hey, Ben. you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... When everything happened. Yeah. Relax. We'll get your friends back like to so. normal in no time. I sure hope so. Yeah, it's okay. Right, Ducky Duck. You got anything? You got anything? How you doing, Witty Duck? to say? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Oh, really? Guess what it is? I don't know. Tiger. A dog. Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? <laughs> no. Oh bless her. It's a tiger. Catch you, you idiot. So see, a goat? Are you... No mad. Right, come on in, Carly. Um, sleeping any better? Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to ask... I'm not going to ask advice on what I should do with the food, because I know what I'm doing. I'm going to give some... Right, I'm going to give some to the people who are out doing the hunting. So, Kenny, you get some. I'm not giving it to the kids, because the kids can go without a little bit. You are right, Kenny? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Yeah. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. It is in the long run, yeah. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Thank you. Yeah, the coach does sound good. The coach does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. You're a little bit rash, aren't you, Kenny? Well, would you like some food? Because, you know, you've got to keep your strength up. Want something to eat? Um, you need the, uh... You need the carbohydrate. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Nah. Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Kenny. Want something to eat? I'm gonna keep forcing it on you. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care <sighs> of. Fine. Well, I'm not giving Duck any food, because... He's just a little kid. Seriously. Nah. Nah, because if I give him some food, I'll have to give Clementine some food, and then that's two pieces of food gone on the kids. I need to keep the the adults doing the hunting and stuff. Right. Who's doing who was doing the hunting? It was Will me. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realise I was getting this weak already. Yeah. What do you want? See? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. Right, well, one of you's going to get some food, and one of you definitely isn't. So, uh, uh, hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Right in front of Larry. You yeah. alright? Eat something. Yeah. Why don't you have the crackers and cheese? Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Sure. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'm giving it to Mark, you prick. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. No, you're you not. didn't think to give me the axe? Well, he Come can give on, it to you. Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told me? Yes, because it's true. There. Yeah. That's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, Nothing. I don't but care what stopping it is, a dick. But you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. You're the one that started. Oh god. He actually really pisses me off. I'm My hair's funny. Look. Alright, we'll sod you, you fucking... Right, okay, it's fine. Let's have a quick look at the fence. 
It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Fine. Oh yeah, shit, where is Carly? Carly could probably do with some... Uh... Oh no, that's her there, isn't it? Um, oh god, who shall I give the food to? Right, tell you what, I'm going to give a bit to Lily. Because she's she is doing quite a lot of work. Um, you have the apple. I don't want anything from you. Oh well, fucking hell. Take it anyway. Come on. Take it anyway. You need to eat. Yeah. This doesn't change anything. <laughs> See, th this is what pisses me off. Okay, zombie apocalypse. Everyone is struggling to stay alive, yet all they'll do is bicker and fight and moan and be complete arseholes. I just wonder how true that actually is. You know, if you actually had a group of humans like this in an apocalypse, would it really, pardon me, really be such a sort of dick-measuring dick war between everyone all the time? Right, well, Kenny, I would feed you, but you're being an arse and wanting duck to... Eat. So I'm going to give a bit to Carly because she's to struggling here. Uh, you have the jerky. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. Yeah. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. Fair enough. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. But, you know, if you're ever feeling lonely on one of these long, sleepless nights, um, Katja doesn't get anything because, well, look, I don't want to be mean, but she is a bit chubbier, so she has got fat reserves to live off, so she will last a bit longer without food for now. It's the thin people who need to eat, apart from you, because, you know. Go on then, right, I'm going to feed the kids. Am I going to feed the kids? Right, I'm going to feed Duck, then Kenny, because I think Kenny does need to eat. Hey, Duck, how about a little food? <laughs> Look at his face. Right, Grand Boy needs protein. Here. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Share it with Clementine. Shit. Uh, save it for someone else. Uh, yeah. Some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I, should I give it to Clementine? Are you feeling hungry, Clementine? Are you doing How okay? How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I think he'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. Oh, that's good. I'm so hungry. Uh, I hope I get to eat soon. So you shouldn't have said that because... I was going to give this food to Kenny. I was going to say, if you say you're hungry, I'm going to give that to you. Oh, come on, Clem. You are a growing girl, in fairness, and you are skinny as hell. Come on. You need something to eat. Go on. You have the crackers and cheese, love. There you okay. go. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Oh, 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 oh my God, she's so cute. Right, come on. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. No, it wasn't that easy. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Yeah. Kitty, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Oh, good. He's not crossing. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Cool. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Well. You're out! Larry. What happened to uh. my food? There's none left. You're a fucking you keep treating people like this. Brick the shit house. In this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah. Well, I don't see you working on that wall. I really hate him. Ken, Lee, come here, please. Coming. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Oh, God shit. damn it! I'm getting sick of this shit. Oh, Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Kaja. Yeah. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. It certainly has. That man. For me. I tried. I had to cut his leg off. He's never going to survive. 
Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Nice what try. about the other kid? Let's kill him. <laughs> ah! <gasps> shit! Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I didn't think that happened for a while. <laughs> Bloody hell. I thought it was a while before that happened. Shit, shit, shit. Get the bastard. Oh, you bellend. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Kick him in the face, kick him in the face. Kick him in the face, kick him in the face. Oh, get off me leg! Get off! Oh. Back off, back off, back off. Back off, back off, back off. Oh, oh my goodness! Bloody hell! Oh, yuck. Evil Dead style. Oh. You okay? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> 